hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog um as you guys can see um or probably you didn't know where i was um i had a dentist appointment this morning and so yeah i just got back um from my dentist appointment or just left my dentist appointment i should say so um yeah so i decided to vlog today just because i had a few things that um, I was gonna do today, so I just thought, let me just vlog. I haven't vlogged in so long. It's been probably a month, maybe, since I vlogged. So, I just thought today would be a good day to do it. It is such a nice day outside. Um, definitely does not feel like November, so, um, yeah, I just thought I'd vlog today. Uh, right now, I am on my way to Walmart because... I there's some cologne or perfume that I wanted to get that I didn't get when I was there um, a couple of days ago we went to Walmart like on a grocery run um, a few days ago and I smelled this fragrance by Dossier I've worked with them before it's been a while and they have such good fragrances but anyway so I said let me go to Walmart and get that fragrance because I haven't stopped thinking about it it smells so good um if hopefully they have it they had like several of them in stock when i was there a couple of days ago so hopefully they still have it um but it smells so good and i was like oh let me go i need to go back and get that because i had went in my um i went to the in my closet our dirty clothes is in our closet and i went in there to one day probably was yesterday um i went in there and i still smelled the fragrance on one of my shirts because so i had sprayed it on my shirt when I was in Walmart and um, anyway I put the shirt in my you know dirty clothes hamper as you do and I went in there t yesterday morning and I still smell the fragrance I was like oh my god that is that's the, that's, that's, that's a good fragrance like you know a fragrance is good when you can still smell it the next day and I was like I gotta go get that because it smells so good my husband even liked it so I'm gonna go and see if they have it in stock hopefully they do hopefully nobody bought it um but they had like i said they had several of them so hopefully i can find it um and then um, i'm gonna get a planner because i don't have a planner yet for 2024 like this year like where's this year gone like this year's just flying by um so i'm gonna go and see if i can find one in walmart typically i get them from target because target have the cutest ones but i want to see if they have this in walmart um our walmart where i live they've done like a whole new like revamp like it looks it looks really nice in there it looks like a target like yeah like walmart i see what you're doing you're trying to be all like you know trying to be all hip with the game and whatnot so anyway i'm gonna go to walmart and see if I can, if they have that fragrance and I'm gonna see if they have some planners. If they don't, then I'm probably gonna hit up Target and get one from Target because I know they have some. So, because I need to start creating my content for, or planning my content for 2024 because typically I do it like three and four months in advance and I haven't even done it yet. So I'm already behind on the game. So, but anyway, I just wanna pop on here and say hello, good morning. It's like 11.30 in the morning. My appointment was at 10 and so, uh, my kids are out of school today, so I, I, I'm going to Walmart now. I was going to get my nails done because I just I'm tired of these nails and I want to get something else done. So my kids are home today. My son has a basketball something going on today, so I got to get home by like I guess like 1:15 or so because he has to no I have to get be there by one. Um, so hopefully I can do what I can do at Walmart and it won't take me long because I got to take him come back over to this part of town and take him to school um, or take him to the bring him to the gym because um, he has basketball practice or something today um so and then after when i come back probably think, i think what i'm gonna do is get my nails done when i come back this way because yeah i would have to go back home 15 minutes or out and then come back so i'll just get my nails done bring my daughter with me and we'll go get have little girls little day for a little bit go get our nails done um and yeah bring you guys along with me and i also have some shoes that i want to unbox for you guys um so we'll do that when i get home later on and i think i have some stuff coming in today from one of my favorite brands dish i ordered 
um, some like knitted dresses, some dresses that I had on my wish list. I, I finally ordered them. I don't know why I've been waiting on because I've been wanting those dresses forever. So, um, and uh, hopefully they come today and I'll show you guys that. But, um, you know, let me just address the elephant in the room. I got my extensions in today. I put them in like this morning and I was like rushing. That's why I, typically I like, I like to like, you know, have y'all like get ready with me and film that. But I was in a, such a rush. I was just like, taking my little precious time this morning which I shouldn't have I should have got up when I set my alarm clock I set my alarm clock for like 8 30 I didn't get out of the bed till almost nine so <laughs> um anyway so typically I would share with you guys my my uh like getting ready in my in my outfit of the day I didn't get a chance to do any of that because I was just yeah just lollygagging around in the bed so but yeah I got my extensions in and we'll see how long this how long I'll keep it in because I don't know long hair I just it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot to deal with and this hair is super long so I don't know I'll probably this will probably just be a hairstyle that I'll just rock today and probably take it out tonight I don't know we'll see how it goes but yeah I just wanted to do something different with my hair so I popped in my extensions which they're clipping extensions by the way so um but I'm not rambling I just wanted to pop in here and kind of say you know tell you guys good morning hello introduce you know open up this vlog and just kind of you know tell you guys what is on the agenda for today you all you all know typically things don't typically go to plan so something else may pop up or i may not do something so we'll just see how it goes but welcome <laughs> to another vlog so i will check in with you guys when i get to walmart So they did have the um, perfume that I was telling you guys about, um, and it's by Dossier, and it's the it's called Ambery Saffron, but it's inspired by Mason Francis Kirk Kirk Dijon's. I don't even know how to say that. Um, Baccarat Rouge 540. So this is kind of like what the packaging looks like. So um, let's see, it's vegan paraben. Uh, something free <laughs> um yeah so this smells so good so it's a it's inspired by baccarat rouge 540 so i'm sure a lot of you guys probably know that and it's a very popular fragrance and i see why because um the dossier by the way they're like designer inspired fragrances and they i have several of them that i got a couple years ago and i still have them because uh, it's a big pretty big packaging and they smell just like the designer um you know the original designer so designer fragrance so that smells so good and then um let me just share with you guys what i got all in walmart um and then i got some more um like little hand towels just like some black hand towels i use these for like um when i'm putting on my makeup and i just need like a washcloth or something to wash off with rather than continue to use paper towels i just use these little washcloths and just you know wash them and then they did have a planner in there they had several i had a hard time deciding what i wanted to get so i ended up getting this one and this is what it looks like and it says it's it it's um a monthly one where i can do like like a month in a glance or i can do like each individual day in the month so i like that because that's the one that i have currently or something similar to the one i have currently and this one I like because before each month, it has like a Bible verse to it. So January, the Bible verse is for, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope, Jeremiah 29 and 11. And then at the beginning of each month, it has like the goals here. And then it has like to do, to do lists and like important dates, which I like that. And then it goes into the actual um entire month so um yeah 
so love this and i even like it even better because at, you know like i said uh each month it gives you like a bible scripture to kind of i guess reflect on for the month and i like that so in the front of it it says he has made everything beautiful in its time ecclesiastes 3 and 11 so that's what it says on the front so um yeah i love this i don't know what brand this is from mint green brand i guess and yeah i didn't pay that much for it let me see the um let's see the fragrance was 49 dollars, which is expensive but not as expensive as probably i'm sure the baccarat the baccarat rouge uh, actual fragrance and then the planner was only 8.98 which is pretty good pretty good for a planner so got my content planner and i'm all set and ready to go for 2024 as far as planning my content i've been kind of thinking about what i want to do um but not really um i'm thinking about doing some more beauty stuff in 2024 i don't know you guys let me know what you think if you guys even want to see like any like beauty content when i mean by beauty content i just basically mean like get ready with me which i took pretty much do that anyway um on my vlogs but if you guys want to see like more like beauty content where like i test out different like beauty products or like makeup products um because i've mentioned this before in one of my vlogs um before i first before i started youtube i wanted to do beauty content like makeup and stuff like that um because i always get compliments on one of my makeup and um you know like beauty related stuff like makeup and i could you know we get compliments on um like my hair or something like that so i was like oh let me go into beauty because they say whatever you're good at you should, that's what you should do on youtube so that was what i was gonna do and i had bought all this makeup but anywho um i'm gonna spare you guys that because i've probably said this before um so i don't know how i ended up i ended up going into fashion because i had lost weight and was trying to like you know find clothes to fit me so I don't know fashion just I ain't going down the fashion rap the fashion rabbit hole um but I did want to do beauty so I may incorporate some beauty content into 2024 you guys let me know what you think I may try it out just to see you know see how it goes just see how you guys respond to it um you know just to do something different add a little something to you know my content a little razzle dazzle I know you guys follow me for the fashion content but for me a style is like it encompasses just you know more than just the fashion it encompasses like the makeup and the hair y'all know like the accessories like it encompasses everything so um yeah if you guys want to see some beauty content in 2024 comment down below and let me know um all right so i'm on the way home right now it's 12 i'm gonna go home fix me a little bite to eat and then head back out take my son to his basketball thing he's got going on today and then i may go get like i said go get my nails done today so um all right so i will catch you guys later all right guys so i made it back home and i wanted to share with you guys my outfit of the other day real quick because i forgot to do that or I didn't forget to do it. I just didn't have time to do it before I left the house. Um, so I have on this Amazon cap. Or New York Yankees cap that I got from Amazon. And then I have on this cardigan. I just buttoned it up. But really it's too hot really to be having this on. But this is an old cardigan that I got from. And other stories. And I absolutely love it. I love how like the sleeve is just kind of like tapers down to the cuff. Um, and underneath that is have on a t-shirt. I think it says Venice Beach on it. I got this from um, Buckle. And then I have on my Boohoo jeans. I just bought these from Boohoo. And then I just have on these uh, Ugg dupes that I got from Amazon. I think they're the dupes of the Ultra Minis, I think. And yeah, I got these from Amazon. So, um, And then my handbag. I just wore my Fendi handbag today. And then my sunglasses um i had on these little like ray-ban dupes that i got from um hold on let me put them on for you guys um yeah that i got from shein i just love these these are super old so um but that is the look of the day and i want to share show you guys the perfume that i got um this is what the packaging looks like so it's like super huge as you can see um if it'll focus here um Oh, come on. Focus for me. Um, but yeah, this is what the, the bottle looks like. So it's 
really big. It's a really big bottle, as you can see. Um, so you get, uh, I think I said this was $49, so $50, I think I said it was. So you get a good amount for that price. And yeah, I just couldn't wait to open it up. And it comes with like the little description here. So it tells you that it is inspired by Mason Francis Kirk Dijon, Baccarat Rouge 540. So, and these are all the, the notes of it. So yeah, it smells so good. And then this is what the planner looks like. I showed you guys in the car, but I thought I'd show you a little bit better here. So yeah, it says he has made everything beautiful. And, and it's time, Ecclesiastes 3 and 11. And you open it up. This is what it looks like. And then, yeah, it's a really nice, really nice planner for under 10 bucks. So this is what the, the, the front part of it looks before you get to January. So His Mercies are new every morning. Limitations 3 and 22 through 23. Then you open up the month and it starts with like the goals and then the important dates and the to do and then you turn the page and this is the whole month at a glance and then of course you turn the page and then it gives you um the weekly so i love that so yeah so as you can see like each month gives you like a bible scripture and like the goals and the the important dates and the to-do list like each month it gives you a different bible scripture so just something to kind of reflect on for every month so definitely love that so um what else do i need to share with you guys um because i'm getting ready to go take my son to his um like i said to his basketball practice today i forgot what he said he has but anyway i gotta take him to the gym so um, and then this is the package that I'm going to open up that has some shoes in it. So I'm going to unbox some shoes that were sent to me. Um, I don't think I have time to do that now. So yeah, I'll do that when I come back. So, but these are the shoes that I'm going to unbox with you guys whenever I come back. So I think I have four pair of shoes to unbox for you guys that I was sent. So just all, just full disclosure, this is a brand partnership. We'll get into it. Um, but yeah, so that is it. So I'm getting ready to go. Like I said, and take my son to his game, a basketball practice or whatever he's got going on. And then I'll come back and we'll unbox those shoes. And I got a notification from DHL, I think it was, that I have my, the dresses that I ordered from Dish. They're coming today too. So I'll show those a little bit later. I think they won't be here in like between 1.30 and 3.30, I think it said. So we'll, I'll show you those dresses. There's just two dresses that I had on my wish list. So I'll show those to you guys when I come back. So, um... Yeah, so that's it. So I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so I made it back home and I'm gonna finally share with you guys the shoes that I just recently got from Vavea. If you guys don't know what that brand is, it is obviously a shoe wear brand and I've worked with them before. Um, I think last year and I love their shoes they're comfortable I think they're vegan um, eco-friendly uh, very comfortable the sole is like slip resistance on their shoes so really good brand of shoes so I'm gonna open this up and then just share with you guys I think there's four pair of shoes in here so I'm just gonna open them up and share with you guys and I think I'm gonna style them up as well so all right and this is the first pair of shoes and this is what the box or the packaging looks like it says step into conscious conscious comfort stylish sustainable sustainable vivea so this is what this box looks like so the packaging is really nice and sleek and these um that i'm going to open up are the margo mary jane flats and i've been wanting to buy a pair of mary janes but i just haven't gotten around to it especially like the flats so this is how it comes packaged just really nice and very just luxurious packaging so you just kind of open it up like this and here is the shoes so let me open these up and I got these in a size 10 I believe mm, euro 41 which I think is a nine and a half because I typically get my flats in a nine and a half because my shoe size is a nine and a half so sometimes I get even a nine so anywho so these are what the black mary janes i've been wanting some just some plain just black ballet flats because i have some that have like some um studs and stuff on it so i just wanted some plain black ones so got these 
yeah these are a euro 41 which i think is a nine and a half us nine and a half but this is what the shoe looks like so it's kind of has like this ribbed kind of detail and of course it has the strap here let me take out this part inside the shoe um so yeah it's just very so oh this is a lot of cushion Ooh, very cushiony so very comfortable shoe it's a perfect shoe to probably wear to work or something like if you're on your feet a lot a perfect shoe you know for you ladies that work in like an office environment and then of course it has the v here for um vivaya so um love these and they look super durable and yeah just hope these fit which i think they will because i've gotten shoes there before and i want to say i got a nine and a half and it fits so so yeah so love those you should be seeing how i'm styling them on the screen i'm gonna try to try to film the try on portion in a separate segment and then just add it on to here so you should be seeing how to style it up but these will be cute to style up in so many different ways like with um of course with like dresses this will be cute with like um any kind of trousers or like a midi skirt like a black midi skirt outfit will look cute with these so and they have like this square toe which i absolutely love and i love this detail you here in the um toe here so um but yeah love these shoes first impressions definitely love them they're classic you know you can just always have these or not any, not anything too trendy um even though you know we know ballet flats are you know trendy right now but i don't i feel like these aren't too trendy i feel like they're timeless classic uh shoe wear so yeah those are the first pair all right here is the next pair and again the same packaging and these are the terra pro in the dark gray wool and these are water repellent um these are some boots so i was super excited about these um because i don't have anything like these so we're just gonna unbox it open it up and again it comes with this cute packaging here that you just open up and here are the boots so these are like a pair of knee-high boots which i just recently did like a whole video styling up some of my favorite knee-high boots and um, I wish I would have gotten these in time for that video, but anyway. So yeah, I love this dark gray color and it's like made out of this kind of knit material. So perfect for the winter time because I feel like this will keep your legs warm, um, especially if you wear like some tights or something. And so yeah, these are these and they have like the same little logo here. It's a very subtle logo. So very like quiet luxury type of situation. And it has just like a small little block heel here and it has sort of like a rounded off square toe if you will so um love that but i love this color gray like this charcoal kind of dark gray and yeah these are super high quality it looks like a sock booty or something so but they go up to your knees so um but yeah i definitely love these this would be cute with like a sweater dress or like with some shorts styled with some you know tights or something um or you can wear them with like some of those little capris that are you know huge and trendy right now or some leggings too like so many different ways to style these up and they're just so cute and just like a unique take on a knee-high boot because most knee-high boots aren't made of like a fabric material but this is water repellent um i think that's what it says on the box yeah uh water repellent so even you can wear these even in the rain and you'll be fine like i from what i can think i saw on the website they had tested it and put water on it and the water just basically repelled um it did not even soak in so i don't know what kind of fabric it's made out of but it's definitely you know plus plus for me so um but yeah love these and here are the next pair and here's the box for these i think these are also some boots and these are the regina pro um, in black and ruby red and these are also water repellent so these are made out of the same material as the gray ones so here is packaging again nice and sleek packaging and here are these boots and i really love these um, because of the little pop of red on them and so these are like a booty and um, they have like as, as you can see like this like geometric shaped very just unique heel which i love like any kind of architectural heel i just think that just adds a little extra detail to a shoe and we know red is a huge you know trendy color right now and so this also has like 
some red stitching here that goes kind of like around the shoe here which I like that just adds a little extra detail to the shoe and then this little tab here is red and of course the bottom of it is red it's definitely kind of giving that Louboutin kind of vibe but not really without a Louboutin price um, but yeah I just love these these are so unique I don't have any booties like this and this will be cute to wear styled up with like you know an all black outfit and with like having like you know little pops of red here and there so um but this is the other shoe so and these i got in a size 41 and a half which i guess is a 10 i think that's a 10 in u.s sizes but this is what these boots look like and just absolutely love these and again kind of like that rounded off kind of square toe here and yeah these are just absolutely gorgeous i love these shoes like i can't wait to style these up and the heel isn't too high for me because i don't like a very high heel so this is the perfect size for me um but again like i said i can style this up in so many different ways you know and just have like my little pop of red i've been buying a lot of red shoes here lately so this kind of adds to my red shoe collection even though this isn't red but just has like little accents which i just think that's just a cute little detail like I love shoes like this so um, you can dress this up or down so um, in so many different ways and again like I said this part is also water repellent as well and yeah it's just like a little sock booty but very comfortable and just very sleek so love these all right here are the last pair and these are the Marcella in the dark Bordeaux uh, red and these are water repellent as well and these I got in a size 41 and a half, a Euro 41 and a half, which I think is a 10. So I'm gonna open these up as well, unbox these. Let's see if I can get these here. So yeah, so here are these. Again, same um, detail and yeah, I love these. These are so pretty. So same shoes, similar to the um, black ones, but these are like in this burgundy color. They kind of look a little purple on camera or on the screen. Hopefully that's not translating to you guys in a purple, but these are um, in a burgundy color. And of course, again, like I said, red, um, this is burgundy is in the same color, you know, same, you know, uh, color is red or in the same family, I should say. Um, but I love these. I don't have, well, I have some burgundy boots, but they're more of like in a croc kind of a faux, you know, um, leather type of material, but I didn't have anything in like this booty, like sock booty material. And I just absolutely love these. Again, these are also word repellent and yeah, just have like a little black heel. And I like these as they have like a black part at the back of these, um, manageable heel for me. Yeah, I absolutely love these sock booties. Like, these are so cute. Um, I love to style up burgundy in the uh, fall and winter time. And these will be cute with some, you know, dressed up or dressed down. Like I said, like these, all these shoes, you can just dress them up and dress them down in so many different ways. Like, they're very versatile shoes, I feel like. Um, especially because the fabric, it's like this fabric detail. So, you know, it's, you know, perfect to wear it casually or to dress up. So, um, but I love these. I really love these. I love the color too. So, um, I think I have like a burgundy, I have a burgundy top that'll be cute with these, but, um, this will be cute just to have like a subtle little pop, you know, if you want like a subtle little pop of color to your, um, look, then this will be cute. So, but yeah, love these and super excited about those. All right guys, so that's it. If you're interested in any of the shoes, I will link them down in the description box. So just be sure to check down there. Um, and I'll just link the whole you know, website in case you're interested in any of the shoes. Um, they're just really good quality shoes. I highly recommend them. Um, and I just thank, wanna thank Vivaya for sponsoring this part of the video. So yeah, like I said, everything will be linked down in the description box, all the details, all the deets, just check down there. So. All right, that's it. Later. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little shoe unboxing. Um, it is a little bit later. I have been spending most of the time like shooting and filming the try on portion for the shoes so that you guys can kind of see how they look styled up. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. So um, yes, yeah, a little bit later. What time is it like three, almost 3.30. And I have changed clothes because it is so hot today, like 79 degrees. And I had on that sweater, which was a very thick cardigan. So I had to take that thing off because I was just burning up. Um, anyway, so I put on some different clothes. I put on this dress that um, I got from Dish. It's just really lightweight, more of like a 
it's more of a transitional type of a dress so perfect for now because that's kind of like what we're still in is transition weather so um, a little bit more on the hot side though so yeah just put this dress on just to lounge around the house for the rest of the day um, speaking of dish I did receive my package from dish so I'm gonna share with you guys let me just go ahead and show you guys those dresses I'm not gonna style them up in this video I'm gonna style them up actually in a video I think in the video that's coming after this one I'm gonna be styling up uh, sweater dresses I'm gonna do, be, be doing like a sweater dress um, outfits uh, video um, for my fashion trends video that I do every Friday so the fashion trend for this week is going to be sweater dresses even though sweater dresses aren't really a trend but um, they come around year after year so it's kind of a trend and a classic in one so yeah I'm gonna style up some of my sweater dresses that I have in my wardrobe as well as these that I just got from dish because they are like knit dresses they're more lightweight too so um, they're perfect for like layering and for like wearing during the transition months as well as in the like colder months in the winter time so um yeah let me just show you guys those dresses they're just two they're actually two and they're the same dress just in a different color because if i if i've told y'all that before if you're if you're new here then you don't know when i like something i tend to buy it in multiple colors um but if you aren't new then y'all already know i got this dress in multiple colors i want them in all the colors but i just got two this time because their dish is pretty pricey i don't know if you guys have ever shopped there but they are pretty pricey so you have kind of have to pace yourself when you're shopping there so let me just sit you guys up on my tripod real quick all right that's better here is the package really heavy and i think i read on the reviews that this dress or these this particular style dress is um pretty heavy so i don't think i'll be able to hang these up because i feel like they'll lose the shape if i hang them up so i got one in black Ooh, it is really heavy Ooh, these are some heavy dresses like i don't see how people were wearing these in the summertime which is when i saw them first was in the summertime and people were like wearing them with like or the models i should say were wearing them with like sandals so this is some thick dresses um but anywho so this is the first one and this is the one out of all the colors that this dress comes in this is the one that i really wanted oh my god this dress is so heavy now i see why this dress is 160 dollars yes this dress is $160 so but I feel like it's a good investment because I feel like it's a it's a classic and I feel like I'll wear it all the time so here is what it looks like it's not doing any justice on I'll try to pop a picture of it on on the screen so you guys can see because like I said I'm not gonna try it on in this video I'm gonna style these up in a in the next video styling up sweater dresses but here it is so it's just basically just a kind of like this army green um, on the website it definitely looked lighter but it's like an army green kind of color and it's like in this ribbed fabric and yeah this thing is super substantial and very heavy so i get why this is 160 dollars um and this is the ada dress in the khaki long sleeve and it's yeah it's in the color khaki and yeah this is 159.99 um oh this is it comes with like a little garment care thing here and this says to hand wash in cold water with mild, deter uh, mild detergent and dry flat in the shade. Immediately now. Immediately now. Immediately now. Like, like instantly I was like, yeah, no. Fold garment to store. Do not hang. I see why. Because yeah, if you hang this up, it's going to lose the shape or it's going to create like these little notches in the top. So yeah, I don't like i don't like items that are like really fussy you know what i mean like where you have to do a lot <laughs> with the care of it but it's good quality and so um but this is what it looks like it has like a tie detail in the back this style dress has that little tie detail so yeah so i got it in the khaki and like i said this is the color that i wanted uh when i first saw the dress and it also comes with like this lettuce kind of pleating at the bottom of it or lettuce kind of detail you call it like lettuce ham i think is what you call it and it's kind of see-through actually so yeah i don't know if you guys can see that but yeah it's a little see-through um but it's okay because i feel like you can wear it with um obviously a slip dress underneath it or like a slip skirt and then like a little tank top or something um or layer up even more with like some you know thin layer un underneath it or whatever but i got this in a large i didn't know 
it said it had generous stretch so i didn't know really um what size to get so yeah so i love that one and then of course you know i had to get it in the the color that everybody probably would wear and that's black so um yeah love this yeah you can't go wrong with black the black isn't see-through well yes it is the black isn't as see-through but it's definitely a it's definitely i don't know how to even explain it because it's so heavy but you would think it would be thick fabric but it's not even a thick fabric but it's heavy so i don't even know how to even explain that like i feel like this part of the dress like the bottom part is heavier than the top part if that makes sense i don't know um but it's definitely a very heavy dress so just keep that in mind so but it's really good quality very substantial and i love like the opaqueness of this uh black because you know how some black can look kind of like a little grayish or can be like off a little bit this is definitely a true opaque black so definitely love this and again it comes with a tie detail in the back so um but yeah i got this one in a large as well i think yeah so and from the brand dish so but those are my two little dresses that i had on my wish list on my fall winter wish list i'm slowly but surely knocking some stuff off um and when i say like and i'm you know i mean you guys been following me know i've been buying stuff up anyway for the fall and winter time but some stuff you just kind of have to like put it on a wish list and get it you know as you know get it when you can or else you'll be broke because <laughs> a lot of the stuff that i have on my wish list is more expensive more pricier stuff so I put it on a wish list so that I can, like I said, save up and if I still want it, because they are pricey, so I, I save up or if, you know, I still want it, then, um, you know, I'll have it on my wish list and I can get it. But if I don't want it, then it saves me from spending money that I don't, I don't need to spend on something I'm not going to wear. I hope that makes sense. So I put it on a wish list in case, you know, um, so I don't splurge on something that I'm not going to use. I hope that makes sense. If not, I'm just rambling. But you you guys get the point. Like, you have a wish list for a reason. Like, if you want to get something and you don't want to, you know, make an impulse purchase on something that's pricey, a wish list is a good thing to have. Because, again, you just, you know, save up for it. And then if you don't want it, then you just, you don't have any buyer's remorse because you didn't get it. Right? So, um but that is all the things that i want to share with you guys that i just got new in i'm regretting putting this hair in like it's so thick because my hair you guys know i have if you've been following me, you know my hair is short my if you're new here my hair is like here it's grown a lot y'all so it's probably to my shoulders now because it was like here to my chin now it's definitely to my shoulders now maybe a little bit above my shoulder so it's really thick in this area so it's hard for me to blend my hair with the extensions that's kind of like the issue i'm having because it's really thick up here and then at the bottom of it it's pretty thin and when my hair was longer which my hair was probably before i cut it my hair was probably to here my hair so it blended better because yeah but now because my hair my actual hair is to here and it's really super thick so it's hard to get my hair to blend with this so it's making it look very bulky at the top so um hopefully i can rectify that situation tonight by putting on my scarf and just kind of helping it to kind of like mold I guess for one thing have my hair mold or kind of mix in with the extensions and then um, it'll create or it'll get rid of some of the bulk in like this part at the top part so but I, I don't know I'm kind of regretting it putting it in I like long hair but I don't know short hair is just it's so much easier to do with and not so much fuss and you're not moving out of the way and stuff like that so the older I get <laughs> um the more I just don't want to have I don't want to have too much I don't want to do anything that's just too fussy like when it comes to my hair when it comes to makeup when it comes to my style like if I gotta put too much fuss into it and too much effort like I want to make an effort to look good but I, I like effortless style I mean I've just got into that age that big age to where I prefer effortless style like effortless makeup effortless you know effortless hair effortless you know um clothing you know or style like because yeah I just don't I just I'm too busy to really put that much effort and I just feel like everybody should really 
want to be more you know more effortless because you know there's so many hours in a day and you don't want to spend two and three hours trying to get ready yeah i'm just over that like i used to <laughs> now even if i put on like a full face of makeup i'm still pretty quick doing it you know i don't like do the whole beating my face like mm -mm, like all these steps these these girls do with their makeup i don't do that anymore i did i used to but now it's just like effortless like I'm just about enhancing what I have and not like transforming to look like somebody that you know is that's unrecognizable like when I wear makeup I want to look like me you know what I mean like I want to look recognizable like where it looks like I have on makeup but it's not like a total just transformation into a different person right um I don't even know why I've gone that down that route I think it's because I told you guys earlier in the vlog that I was thinking about doing like beauty more beauty stuff on my channel um, because I'm kind of getting to where I want to incorporate more things even though I know this is a fashion channel and I just hope if I do it I just hope I don't regret it and I hope I don't lose any you know followers or anything because I know most people are following me because of the fashion content um but at the same time you know I just I just I don't know I'm not tired of the fashion content don't get me wrong but you know there's only so many like outfit ideas that I can do I mean I say that but I mean I could always every pop out outfit video every week um, but yeah I just want to expand and do more things you know so you guys let me know what you think like I don't want to lose you guys you know that are following me for the fashion um, but I also want to incorporate more because I am more than just a fashion person you know as you guys see in the vlogs anyway like the vlogs you get to see more of me um, but I just don't want, I don't, I don't know, I don't want this channel to just be about fashion. I don't know. I'm kind of like getting to that point to where I'm just like, do I really want this channel to be all about fashion? And then I thought, well, maybe if I just do a whole, you know, just do a whole different channel or create a different one and just do beauty. But I don't even want to do that. Like, that's just too much. <laughs> like, I'd rather everything be in one place, you know, um, because we all are, you know, we all are not realistically just one particular thing if that makes sense like we all are you know into multiple things like no one is into just one thing like I feel like we are multifaceted type of people and um we all have different interests other than just that one thing that we're known for right so um I don't want to yeah I don't want to just do fashion on here I want to incorporate more so you guys let me know what you think about it um yeah I definitely don't want to do something nobody wants to watch but at the same time it's like I want to incorporate some more so I don't know I may do it in vlogs because vlogs I feel like are more so for people that are subscribed so um but I don't know you guys let me know what you think I'm just kind of like thinking about it like I said I got my content calendar today so I'm just trying to like figure out like the content for next year so um but yeah so that is it with hopefully all the unboxings and all the hauls and stuff um for today i don't think i have anything else to show you guys so um i did do a sephora order i think yesterday the six whenever the six was um because that was the last day of the vib sale and i got a whole bunch of stuff actually most of it was like free stuff because i had a lot of points that i had to use so i ended up using all my points and got a lot of like free samples but i just really got um some re-ups on some things that i was running out of and then i got a few new things so the stuff that i actually purchased wasn't a lot but i got a lot of free stuff too so um so yeah so stay tuned i probably share that stuff in a, a vlog what else have i ordered i don't think i've ordered anything else i think that's it i don't i'm trying to not order so much like i just did a whole like um haul on like bottoms because i gained weight and i was trying to find some bottoms to fit so yeah I just did that just recently um so really I just needed bottoms I feel like I'm good with tops and dresses I want to say I'm probably pretty good with with sweater dresses and just dresses in general so I don't really need anything else as far as clothing wise but y'all know I love to shop I'll be I'll like probably go tomorrow and find something that I like so you know but anywho that's enough rambling for right now um what time is it it's like three um like 3 30 i don't know why i feel so late like the time has just changed too um and that's another thing that's kind of like 
I hate that part of the year where the time changes and like it gets darker so quickly but it gets lighter earlier too but I don't get up early so but you know because of the time change I have been kind of getting up early because my body is used to getting up at a certain time so um it actually you know it feels like it's later because of the fact that the time has changed so that's another thing I'm having to get adjusted to like it's 3 30 and it's already starting to like you can tell it's starting to get darker so um that's another thing about this time of year I don't like so um other than the fact that it gets cold but right now it's warm so all right guys I'm gonna stop blabbering and put some of this stuff up because I have stuff everywhere so if I get up to anything else obviously I will be back so see you guys in a little bit <laughs>